Okay, here's another example, guys, of the uh, of an exercise um, that uh, is part of the ocean training uh, study guide, uh, an interactive uh, exercise on lights, lights and shapes. Uh, and uh, here it is. They give you. I hope you guys can see this, okay? So they show a shape and you have to choose from one of the three options. So, uh, vessel under sail and power motor sailing, fishing vessels, okay, it's definitely not a fishing vessel because a fishing vessel has two cones with apexes facing each other. A vessel not under command, definitely not because that would be two all, um, that would be uh, balls, right? So, vessel under sail and power. Next one, two all round reds in vertical over each other and a green. So vessel under sail and power, definitely not. Uh, vessel not under command, making its way through the water, seen from the starboard side. A towing vessel where the, okay, it's definitely not a towing vessel because you would see all round white lights for that. So this is a vessel not under command, making way through the water, seen from the starboard side. Okay, two balls, vessel trawling, definitely not, they're triangles. Uh, vessel not under command, or a towing vessel where the length, it's not a towing vessel because their day shapes are, are uh, diamonds. So it's a vessel not under command. Um, a fishing vessel and seen from the starboard side. Sailing vessel underway, seen from the starboard side. Of course, uh, a sailing vessel wouldn't have um, a red and a white in vertical like that. A uh, vessel not under command, definitely not this one, because a vessel under command has two vertical over um, all-around reds. So this is a fishing vessel uh, seen from the starboard side. Fishing vessel as opposed to a, a vessel that's trawling. If it was trawling, it would be green over white, right? Okay, a vessel engaged in mine sweeping. Okay, definitely not. That would be three uh, all-round greens in a triangular shape. Uh, next one, the vessel underway constrained by her draft seen by the starboard by uh, her starboard side and a power driven vessel probably more than 50 meters in length seen from directly ahead definitely not that so it's a vessel constrained by her draft seen from the starboard side um, and of course uh, it's underway because you have uh, and greater than 50 meters because you have a forward masthead and um, an aft masthead. Okay, vessel aground. Okay, we can stop there because if it was a vessel aground, it would only have two reds in vertical. Uh, next one, vessel engaged in mine sweeping. Okay, definitely not. Mine sweeping would show three greens in a tri three all round greens in a triangle. A vessel engaged in dredging or otter underwater operation, not making way through the water, and this is the one. So red over white over red indicates vessel restricted in ability to maneuver, and the two vertical reds indicate the side you don't want to pass on. The two vertical greens indicate the side where it is safe to pass. Okay, pilot board on duty, definitely not. Vessel constrained by draft. A vessel constrained by its draft would have a cylinder. So in this case it is because it's a ball, uh, diamond ball. It's a vessel restricted in its ability to maneuver. Um, this one's real easy. Vessel at anchor, 
If it was a vessel not under command, it would have two balls. If it was a fishing vessel um, seen from the starboard side, then of course um, the fact that it says seen from the starboard side would, would indicate that uh, it would show lights. So in the, anyway, in this case, it's a vessel at anchor. And that's the, uh, the day shape, the ball. Okay, a vessel underway constrained by her draft. Uh, constrained by her draft, that would be three vertical reds, so it's definitely not that. A vessel engaged in a towing operation, definitely not, because if it was, it wouldn't have a, a red above the two uh, whites. So this is, and the last one, a power-driven vessel, probably more than 50 meters in length, seen uh, direct from directly ahead and carrying dangerous goods, and this is obviously the one. There is the all round red indicating that it's carrying dangerous goods. The two masthead lights uh, indicating that it's greater than 50 meters and of course the uh, starboard and port side lights. Okay, next, a vessel not under command making way through the water seen from the port side. A vessel aground, it's definitely not a vessel aground because it would, uh, along with the two all-round reds, it would have um, the all-round white anchor lights. And uh, if it was just a plain old vessel not under command, it wouldn't have the port light. So the answer here is vessel not under command making way through the water seen from the port side. Okay, next, a vessel underway constrained by her draft, seen from the starboard side. If, it was, if she was constrained by her draft, uh, you'd see three all-round vertical red, so it's not that. Vessel engaged in mine sweeping, definitely stop right there, because if it was uh, engaged in mine sweeping, we would see three all-round all grease in a triangular shape. So the last one, the vessel aground, probably more than 50 meters in length. That's what this is. So the two all round verticals um, and the two anchor lights. Vessel aground, definitely not this because it would have um, the all round reds in a vertical. Vessel engaged in mine sweeping, seen from directly ahead or vessel underway constrained by her draft. Um, definitely not constrained by her draft because you would see three vertical reds in a row. So in this case, three greens, three all, all uh, round greens in a triangular pattern is a vessel engaged in mine sweeping seen from directly ahead because there is the uh, steaming light, the masthead light and the port and the starboard and port side lines. Okay, it's a single um, green, so it's a starboard side light and it can be only one thing, a sailing vessel underway seen from the starboard side. Okay, three vertical whites. You automatically know that is a towing vessel. Um, if it was just a, a basic uh, towing vessel with a towing uh, with a tow line less than 200 meters, it would only have two vertical all-round whites. The third one indicates that the uh, length of the tow from the stern of the uh, towing vessel to the stern of the ve of whatever it is being towed is greater than 200 meters and there are the two starboard side lights so this is a vessel engaged in a towing operation with length of tow exceeding 200 meters seen from the starboard side okay diamonds when you, say, when you see single diamonds, you automatically know that it has to do with towing. And they're showing two here because one diamond will be on the towing vessel and the other diamond will be on whatever it is that's being towed, indicating that the length of tow exceeds 200 meters. So a towing vessel where the length of the tow exceeds 200 meters, that's the answer. 
Okay, cylinder automatically tells us it's um, a vessel constrained by its draft. Okay, there's a bit of a hodgepodge. So red over white over red, that automatically tells us that whatever it is, it's restricted in its ability to maneuver. Okay, two masthead lights indicates that it's um, underway, making way through the water, with uh, and it's greater than 50 meters. There's the forward uh, masthead light and the um, aft masthead light, and of course the uh, starboard and port side lights. So this is a vessel restricted in her ability to maneuver, making way through the water seen directly ahead, or seen from directly ahead. Okay, the two single all-round red lights in a vertical automatically tells us that it's uh, a vessel not under command, making no way through the water. Okay, white over red, pilot ahead, right? And there's a green side light. So it's definitely not a, uh, not a vessel not under command, because that would be two vertical reds. Um, and it's definitely not a vessel not under command making way through the water again. We're missing the two vertical reds. So this is a pilot boat on duty seen from the starboard side. Okay, green over white, trawling at night. Okay, and there's the port um, sideline. So it's definitely not a vessel under command because it would have the two red verticals. Um, definitely not a vessel under command, vessel not under command making way through the water, so it's a vessel trawling seen from the port side. Uh, okay, so two white vertical all rounds, so automatically you know that it has something to do with towing, and because there are only two, it's telling us that the length of the tow is less than 200 meters, and the fact that there are no other white mast headlights, uh, it's telling us that it's probably 50 meters or less. Okay, so the answer to this one is um, vessel <clears throat> engaged in a towing operation with length of tow not exceeding 200 meters seen from the starboard side. So you're seeing the tow vessels, starboard side light, and the whatever it is that's being towed, uh, it's starboard side light. Okay, three vertical black balls. This is a day shape, so it's definitely not a vessel at anchor because that would be only one black ball. Uh, it's not a fishing vessel because a fishing vessel has two cones with the apexes facing each other in a vertical line. So it's a, a vessel aground. I hope this uh, ends pretty soon because my arm's getting tired holding this phone. <laughs> um, okay. Red over green. Uh, with side lights. This can only be um, a sailboat, but it's a, a lighting configuration that's rarely seen as, it sh as it's indicated here. So a sailing vessel underway seen from directly ahead, which is rarely seen. So sailboats, um, if they need to, are allowed to show masthead lights with the green and the red above. And um, the green and port side light. So this is a sailing vessel underway seen from directly ahead, rarely seen. <clears throat> and there is the uh, the one that uh, I was just talking about, the, f the day shape for a fishing vessel. Uh, two cones with ape in a vertical with uh, apexes facing each other, or touching each other. So this is definitely not a vessel, not under command, um, and it's a, so it's a vessel fishing or trawling. <coughs> 
and that's it. We got them all right.